Welcome to our day at Mount Teide. Teide is a huge mountain smack bang in the middle of the island of Tenerife and it's the largest natural monument in the Canary Islands which is one of the reasons that we wanted to go and see it. Not to mention the spectacular scenery surrounding it where it almost feels like you're on a whole different planet. We hired a car and drove the whole way up there, which we definitely recommend so that you can stop off and check out the weird undulating landscape around you of lava fields and canary and pine trees. You can also get a coach tour, but then it's onto the cable car. Once you've got yourself a ticket and a bottle of water and chocolate bar, I definitely recommend those to keep you going when you get to the top. You've got to pile into the cable car with about 30 or so other people. So uh, if claustrophobic settings aren't really your thing, maybe sit this one out. Then it's onto the vertigo inducing climb. Uh, hold on tight if you can, and try not to hold your breath the whole way up as you scale nearly all of the mountain in about eight minutes. This cable car trip will get you 200 meters from the top of the mountain. So you're pretty high up. Coming out of the cable car, you'll notice that the air is much thinner. You might even find you have a little bit of difficulty breathing, so if you do have respiratory problems, again, take the time to just chill out and enjoy the view. Then you've got to steel yourself for the 200 meter climb to the very summit of the mountain. If you're up for it, I definitely recommend it. But as you can see, don't judge my fitness levels, I was quite out of breath. It's beautiful. But the air's definitely thinner up here. And it's worth it, I think. <laughs> We're nearly at the top and I'm absolutely shattered. The oxygen just doesn't get around as quickly because the air's so thin here and it stinks. <laughs> all the sulfur, you can see it on the sides of the, of the mountain here, it's all greeny yellow and it just smells like rotting eggs. But it looks quite cool. On we go. It's not much like England here. You're not gonna find safety harnesses and ropes and hard hats you might find the odd chain here and there but that's that's about it all right and it's spectacular it's breathtaking up here quite literally breathtaking my legs are a bit like jelly and i'm only just catching my breath again i'd say as far as shoes are concerned you don't really need hiking boots you can wear them it's probably fairly sensible too but i've just got some grotty pumps i was on and they seem to be doing the job all right I think it's just a case of taking your time and actually enjoying it, not being too overpowered by the smell of sulphur. You can't even see the land. I can't even tell what's sea and what's sky, whether that's the horizon or whether it's just the top of the clouds, but it, I'm pretty sure it's just the top of the clouds. It's what's called this sea of cloud that you get here, where at the point where we're above them. And all you've got is this beautiful direct sunlight. It's warm and pretty toasty. We found out some really interesting stuff about the history of the mountain and its cultural significance to the Canarian people. In fact, it was so interesting that we decided to get our animator, Phil, to make a little piece about it for you to watch. It should be here on your screen. Um, do click it, because Phil put lots of time and effort into it, and it's very good, and you'll learn things. Thanks. Another really cool thing about Teide is that it's part of a national park. So not only is it really high up on the island, but it's also really sparsely populated, meaning that light pollution is really, really low. This makes it a very good spot for a bit of stargazing. Uh, check out this photo. I didn't take it, um, but it's beautiful and it shows just how stunning the landscape there is at nighttime. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click subscribe. Bye.